Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Guys, it is a crazy episode today. I'm not joking whatsoever. A major announcement coming about Stradman's next supercar right after he bought the Ferrari 430 Challenge car, and it showed up on Shmi's channel in the unlikeliest of places. Big shout out to our LOP detectives out there that found this information, sent it over to me on Instagram. There were like five of you out there, a big Big round of applause to everyone who sent me that message. And uh, Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford posting a very suspicious video that has a lot of people messaging me about what was in it. I thought we were all done with that, but apparently we're not. Get ready guys, here we go. And a big reminder, uh, we're giving away two Xbox Ones or PS4 Pros when we hit 170,000 subscribers. All you gotta do is subscribe guys and we'll pick out of the comments for the day when we hit that number. All right guys, into our main story. All right guys, so uh, some major news came about Stradman's next supercar and yes it's crazy to talk about the next supercar for Stradman when he literally just bought the Challenge Ferrari 430 a couple weeks ago. We are fresh off of the Ferrari purchase and we have more coming and this is going to be even crazier than what we originally thought. So let's talk about what we discovered in Shmi's videos. Uh, so obviously you guys know that Stradman took a trip over to Saudi Arabia. Uh, there was a huge car auction out there. Really crazy event. He's got some amazing footage coming up. I'm very excited to see it. Uh, took Burlacker out there and a number of other very prominent automotive YouTubers, Mr. JWW, Shmi for one, was out there at the exact same event. So at the very end of one of Shmi's latest videos, uh, this is like 19 minutes deep by the way, he actually happens upon Burlacker and Stradman when he's doing a walk through the, the field of, uh, of gorgeous hyper and supercars and they had a very interesting conversation where Stradman accidentally let slip what appears to be the next supercar that's coming to the channel and I think you guys are going to be really excited about this here we go in any case how's this you just want some attention you're wanting attention are you buying a lamborghini join the dark side do it tim do it do it do it <laughs> if today's video gets 19 likes you buy a lambo 19, 19, 19 likes we just need 19 heroes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's not it's not that simple when the time is right and the car is right you're miss you're becoming mr lamborghini right? yeah absolutely gallardo aventador soon to be wait I don't want to say too much without saying enough. Well, we'll leave it at that. There might we'll be another Lambo coming to the collection soon. Okay. So as you can tell in that video, guys, uh, Yashmi starts listing off the different Lamborghinis that Stradman has. The Gallardo, the Aventador, and then he pauses and it sounds like he's about to say Murcielago. Obviously that would be in line with a lot of the past videos that has happened uh, with Stradman, uh, talking about how the new Aventador replacement might not have a V12, and if it doesn't have a V12, he's gonna be getting the V12 Mercy instead. This is a pretty big deal, and the fact that he said it on Shmi's channel, I think means it is even more true than maybe a normal statement would be. Uh, and that's not the only thing that we have that pushes us in the direction of a Mercy for the Stradman channel, another V12. Just a couple hours ago guys uh, Stradman put up a post on Instagram that basically showed a number of different cars uh, there was like 10 pictures all together and basically said like one of the cars in these like 10 pictures is going to be coming into the channel over the next couple of months. Now we put a disclaimer on the post though by saying that it might not be the car in front, but there are two cars in particular in the background of these pictures that would lend itself to either a Mercy or one other car. If we zoom into the background of the white LaFerrari picture, we see a very blue Lamborghini Murcielago in the background. Now, I think that the reason why he said it could be in the back was to help direct us toward possibly that car. Now, there's one other car, even though it wouldn't go along with the Shmi video that I think is worth mentioning. If we look way in the background of one of the other pictures, there is an older Ford GT. If you guys will remember, he's talked about having a Ford GT or a Mercy and even put that up to a poll in his Instagram stories uh, a number of times. So honestly, if I had to guess right now, you can put me on record for this. I think we're gonna see a Mercy and I think there's still an outside chance of an older Ford GT, like an 05. Uh, I think that that would be an incredible addition, either one to the channel. Which one do you guys think he's going to get? Do you think he's gonna stick with the Mercy like he sorta of said in the Shmi video? Or are we looking at a Ford GT or something else in the background that I didn't even see? Let me know in the comments right now what you think he's going to be getting. This is a huge time for Stradman, one of the biggest pushes his channel has ever had, guys. Get excited, it's gonna be a crazy couple of years for him. All right, guys, moving on to the very light side of automotive news, if you can even call this automotive news for this particular part. We had a very funny post on TikTok 
from Alex Choi and Amelia Hartford. And yeah, I don't really use TikTok all that often. A number of my friends do, but I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't use TikTok. Maybe that's just because I'm getting really old. But Amelia Hartford and Alex Choi, as you guys know, a lot of people were speculating that maybe they were dating. And then Amelia sounded like she confirmed that they were just going to be friends. But they just posted a video together on Amelia Hartford's TikTok that has a lot of people sending me the clip. Here, here you guys go. So I, I don't even know. What, what do you guys think? Do you think that they're they're actually secretly dating? That they just don't want anyone to know about it? Want to keep it out of the uh, the tabloids for the most part, the press? Uh, let me know what you guys think about the video. Obviously, if they're if they're actually being truthful in the TikTok video, one of those wasn't actually true. Uh, but I don't know. It's all fun speculation. Could it be the power couple returning, uh, possibly to automotive YouTube, or is it just a big goof on everybody watching? Let me know. In other news, guys, a monster monster time for Tavares. Uh, just hit a million subscribers. Pretty much the dream of all automotive YouTubers that I know of is hitting a million and continuing on. Tavares is an awesome guy. I've actually had the chance to talk with him on a number of different occasions. Fantastic dude. One of the realest dudes in automotive YouTube that I've ever had the chance of talking to. So a big congrats to him on that front. Uh, but also on Instagram, if you guys follow Tavares there, he just unveiled the render for his 2020 homemade Lamborghini build that he's going to be taking to SEMA next year. This is right after doing the Fast and Furious uh, Murcielago for SEMA this year, and what an incredible hit that was. The renders are fantastic, very different than anything I've ever really seen. Uh, if you guys have been watching these videos, you know what the base of that is going to be. It's a bunch of letters that I can't really remember as I'm talking now, but I, it's going to be one of the most unique cars that I've seen on YouTube when he finishes it. And I think that original builds like the B is for build, uh, you know, LS swapped Huracan, uh, Tavares' new uh, homemade Lamborghini. I think that this is going to be the future of automotive YouTube because obviously with everything that we've seen with Supras and with not, it's gonna be C8s and probably the Cybertruck, I think that people are gonna have a lot of fatigue on normal release cars and they're gonna be looking for something that's very original. This is why these builds were so successful for the creators that did them. But let me know your thoughts below. What do you think of Tavares' new render? Are you excited for his next build. So I have to have a special shout out here guys to Built Official. If you guys will remember Built Official was one of the channels that was hacked and subsequently deleted. Luckily he got it back and is flourishing in a huge huge way. Uh, he actually had an incredible video series that we covered a few times which was wide bodying his C7 power wheels for one of his kids. What an incredible build. He just did the uh, the entire sequence in 10 minutes which seems to be a running theme now in rebuild channels. Very fantastic creator. One of the nicest guys in in the automotive community. Go check out his channel. And even if you don't care about power wheels or anything like that, it's such an incredible thing to see someone do that for one of their kids. Uh, you're gonna love it. Go check it out. And guys, uh, Supercar Blondie uh, making waves. Over a million hits on her latest video where she announced that uh, among Daily Driven Exotics, Alex Choi, F-Spot, uh, It's Just a Six, and just a plethora of other automotive YouTubers, she is also buying the Tesla Cybertruck. Um, she by far has the largest video announcing that she's going to be buying one. It talks about all the different aspects of it. Uh, it's a very interesting video. I think this is gonna be a really good move for her because it's gonna allow her to have more focus on her own cars. And obviously she's already a massive, massive creator, but I feel like the one element of her channel that I'd like to see more of is her own cars, like going out adventures, maybe doing more of a vlog style and doing the one-off unique car walk up and little, you know, tiny drive. I think it would be really cool to see more of her cars, even if it's something like a Cybertruck from Tesla. So make sure to go check out her latest video if you're at all interested in her perspective on the new truck from Tesla. And I have a very special treat for you guys. Uh, I have a new video that isn't even yet released on YouTube from Washness Media. And I've been given the opportunity uh, by them to show you guys like 30 seconds or so. And it's one of the coolest montages of a, I don't want to spoil it for you, but essentially a very, very special Huracan. I'm just going to show it to you right now. Here we go. Every single time that I watch videos from Watch This Media, it always gets me so excited to go out and drive my own McLaren, to have a good time, and to just to be like pumped about the supercar community, which is why I started this channel to begin with. Watch This Media has by far some of the best cinematography and atmospheric building that I've ever seen in a channel. You have to go follow them. It's worth your time. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got for you guys today. Have a wonderful Sunday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, we're probably going to have some more updates on Omi and a Hellcat here coming up. Uh, but most of the stuff that we've been seeing right now has been just late night live streams. We're waiting for like third party confirmation of a lot of the charges. A lot of people have a lot of questions and we haven't been able to get a hold of him yet to try to get a short term interview to see what's actually going on beyond his initial and subsequent live streams that we've seen. So as soon as something interesting comes out, I'll make sure to cover it. Up until then, there hasn't really been anything of substance thrown out there so we're not going to talk about it so have a great day guys we will absolutely see you guys tomorrow unless something really crazy happens that's all i've got for you have a great day bye